Where are we at today, Peepaw? We're at the Pelican Island Reserve. Oh yeah, I hear that's part of the Archie Carr Wildlife Refuge in Indian River County. So we're gonna go on this trail here and go find out what matters about the Pelican Preserve. You guys wanna come along and see? All right, so Peepaw and I are starting out on the Centennial Trail. And here's a really neat thing where you can look up um, things about the trails on your phone. Mm -hmm. This is a nice trail and it's pretty accessible. One thing you do need to know is no pets, no bikes before you come. It's asphalt, this part. So Mima, what was the thing that you think that your followers will think is the best that you discovered today? Hmm. I think the way that the trail memorializes in reverse order all of the National Wildlife Refuges and also that camera that's up there on the Outlook where they can log back in and, and keep up with things that are going on in the Indian River Lagoon. We're basically walking in the top of a hammock over the salt marsh. It's a really different experience. Peepaw's way ahead of me. He's already made it up to the observation tower. Peepaw, what's the thing to you about this trail, the Centennial Trail, and the Pelican Preserve that stands out the most? Well, I think probably the idea that it was important enough in 1903 to be able to set it aside to preserve something that those people saw that needed to be preserved in 1903. What about wildlife? What did you see as far as wildlife that you uh, thought would be it would interest your followers? Well, we saw that there was a lot of different kinds of bird species. So if you're into birding, you know, this would be a great place to come. And uh, there's lots of trails where you can go further than where we went. Um, so there's way more to explore here. What was your most unusual thing that you saw while we were on this hike on this trail? Well, we saw the bird that was cruising above that we still can't identify, an egret of some type, we think, that had a real unusual fan tail. What is one thing that you might want to have done differently about this trail? Well, I think that as you walk along the Centennial Trail, there are some of the handrails, actually, that are rattling, and that's not comforting knowing that children and you know, people are walking along there. What are your thoughts about the history related to this being established as a wildlife refuge? I think it's amazing that it could happen back then and uh, I, I, I sort of refreshing that it's not wasn't like it is today where you do millions of acres and to do it with five and a half acres and set it aside as the first refuge. How they could ever control that, I don't know. So in relationship to how the park's laid out and parking, how easily accessible is it? It's very accessible for this one trail, the Centennial Trail. The rest of them, though, are not accessible. You, they're not paved and they're grass covered, but they're well mowed. And so you'd be probably comfortable if you're able to walk. Hi, I'm Sunny, and you don't get to see me much on Meemaw's Manners on YouTube because I'm camera shy, but I'm helping my mom out and saying hello and hope that you will follow us and like and subscribe. Hope I'll see you in a future video. Bye-bye.